You've reached the Love and Luck podcast. Hey Helen, it's Storm. Listen, I think you're beautiful and kissing you was well, it was an experience like no other. You are so soft, stunning and just so so nice. Your eyes are such a deep brown and so beautiful. When you look down at me, all it makes me want to do is make you feel even half as amazing as I did when you kissed me. I'm coming by the best of luck bar tonight after work and if you're there, I'd like to talk to you. I have something to ask you. And no, it's nothing bad, so don't worry about that. Hey babe, want to hear something utterly fucking adorable? So, Storm came by after work and I was like, "Hey," thinking she was here to hang out, but no, I was wrong. She was not here to hang out. She was here to ask Helen out. She had a fucking long-stemmed rose and she fucking bowed when she presented it to Helen. It would have been extremely corny on anyone else, but somehow Storm pulled it off and just made it really romantic actually. And Helen? <laughs> Fuck, man. I haven't seen her light up like that in ever. Yeah, I'm racking my memory and I don't remember her ever looking that radiant before. In case it's not obvious by this point in the message, she said yes, by the way. They're going out on like Thursday, I think. So, there's some adorable news for you to wake up to. Helen's got a date with an excellent lady. Hey Papa Bear, it's Helen. I can't sleep, and I thought Maybe it'd be okay if I left you a message. I think I saw Jason on the phone earlier, so you probably already know what happened to me earlier tonight. I've never felt like this before. I mean, I felt, you know, I've had crushes before and I felt butterflies in my stomach before, but <sighs> it wasn't just that she asked me out. Obviously, that's I mean, I'm so excited. But it's not just that. She <laughs> she specifically asked if she could court me, which is <laughs> it's so old-fashioned and silly, but it's also really sweet. It makes me feel <laughs> treasured, I guess. I feel like I'm something special to her, even if she doesn't know me very well yet. She still thinks I'm special enough that she really wants to dedicate some time to seeing me. That's that's just so nice. I feel really happy. <sighs> Thanks for listening, Papa Bear. I hope you're sleeping well. I hope I do too when I get there. Hey Jason, it's Victor. I've been thinking and I want Michael to take over all my work at the Best of Luck Bar. You can give all my remaining shifts to him. He's still not having any luck finding another job, and I... I have better odds than him. I've actually got a couple of leads in the works for a couple of jobs, so, uh... Yeah. I've also decided to cover his rent. Permanently. Or, at least for the foreseeable future. Things are hard enough for everyone right now, and anything I can do, I just, I just want to make things a bit easier for him. I want to do everything I can, you know, to make the world a bit better. I want, I want to help people, like you guys helped me. Don't think you're getting rid of me, though. 
I still plan to come and hang out and annoy you as much as I possibly can. So, don't get comfortable. I'm still that annoying stray cat that showed up and didn't leave because you fed him. I'll talk to you later, man. And thanks for everything. Hey there, baby. You've been a lot nicer on the morning sickness front this week. Thank you for that. You know, it's really strange how much I love you already. You're not even real yet, in a lot of ways. I'm not showing. I can't feel you kicking. And obviously you're a long way from being born. But, God, do I love you. I love you harder than I've ever loved anything before in my life. It's so strange when you start to love someone. You're doing just fine in your life, minding your own damn business, and then all of a sudden, here's this new person. And even though you've lived without them your whole life so far, suddenly it feels like you'd be missing something terribly vital if they weren't here. It's like they're meant to be here, meant to be in your life. So much so that once they're there, You can't imagine life without them anymore. I felt like that with Priya. And now, I feel it again with you. It's been really surprising how easy it's been to accept you. I mean, you were a surprise, baby. Pregnancy was not something on my radar. And you'd think it would throw a huge spanner into the works of my life. But... I mean, don't get me wrong, you've definitely made things a bit more complicated, but it's been easy. It's been easy to accept you. I never thought you'd exist, but now that you do, I'm so happy, baby. I'm so happy you're here. Love and Luck is written by Erin Kian and produced by Paso Volpez Productions. Helen is voiced by Ash Connor. Jason is voiced by Erin Kian. Julie is voiced by Nick Rumery. Storm is voiced by Creatrix Tiara. Victor is voiced by D.L. Turnbull. Credits spoken by Rosalind Quinn. Recorded by Kermie Braden and Eris Barnes. If you're enjoying Love and Luck, consider backing us on Patreon. We do our best not only to make a high-quality show for you, but to pay everyone involved in its creation. Your monthly donation will be directly supporting queer art by queer people. Pledge now at patreon.com slash pasavalpez. That's patreon.com slash p-a-s-s-e-r-v-u-l-p-e-s. For more information about Love and Luck, check out our website, loveandluckpodcast.com. You can also find us on Facebook as Love and Luck Podcast, on Twitter as at Love Luck Podcast, and on Tumblr and Instagram as Love and Luck Podcast, or one word.